Juan Gomez de Liano heated up just in time for the University of the Philippine Fighting Maroons, leading the league leaders to a 71-66 win over defending UP champions Ateneo de Manila University Blue Eagles, Saturday evening at the indoor courts of Green Hills West. With the win, UP remains unscathed in four games in the 2018 Smart City Hoops Under-25 Summer Classic. But beyond the wind, it proved that the Fighting Maroons can keep up with the reigning Oop Kings. I told the guys, we need to figure out how to beat the best team, set up head coach Bo Parasol. That is not to say nah it's their best showing. But at least we could tell ourselves that we have a chance against the champions. Dottatinio was up by as much as 12 points, 36-24, with 2.35 left in the first half. Behind Bright Acuity and Juan Gomez de Liano, the Fighting Maroons were able to surge in the final frame, tying the contest at 63 all after a triple by the younger de Liano with 1.30 remaining in the game. A turnover by the Blue Eagles seconds later paved the way for a booming triple by the UP Season 80 Men's Basketball Rookie of the Year for the go-ahead bucket. The collapse continued for the Blue Eagles in the next possession as a turnover by Gian Mamayak led to a corner triple by Jan Jabonetta to seal the game for the Fighting Maroons. Acuity towed up with 22 points, 7 rebounds, and 6 steals while De Liano added 17 points, spiked by three triples. Nasa Kanya Nayun. He tells me, if he wants to rest, Parasol remarked about his sophomore, who also plays for the Heel as Cadets. See Paul Desiderio Ganon Din, Nag Kasik at Pa Dahol Sao Pagod. We have to figure out what we need tomorrow. The Blue Eagles, who fell to 1-2, were led by rookie S.J. Angel with 16 markers. In the first game, the Colegio de San Juan de Letran Knights were able to even their slate at 2-2, scraping past the College of St. Benald Blazers, 62-59. Larry Myang, who is a former DLSU Green Archer, towed the Knights with 13 points and 11 rebounds. Team captain Bon Quinto supplied 10 markers. Letran was on the verge of breaking the game wide open, entering the final frame, leading by as much as 12 points, 48-36. The Blazers, though, just like in their first two games of the tournament, did not give up easily. Behind the towering Jay Pangalangan and Eric Pele, the Blazers were able to slice the lead to just three. 57-60, with 1.18 remaining. Though able to get some stops, Benold could not convert on the other end. Peely was able to score with three. One ticks left to cut the lead to just a solitary point. On the other end, Gio Ambo had missed both of his free throws, but Bonbon Batiller was there to clean it up as time expired. Pangalanen paced Benold with 22 points and 14 rebounds. Oh, and Saturday, the Lyceum Pirates take on the Futamaros at 3 p.m., while the Blue Eagles try to bounce back, facing the Blazers. The scores. First game. CSJL 62, Myang 13, Quinto 10, Calvo 8, Ambo hit 7, Batiller 7, U5, Agbong 4, Talajua 4, Balagase 3. Favorito 1, Galvello 0, Mandriza 0, Celis 0, Luciano 0, Pambit 0, Banas 0. CSB 59, Pangalanen 22, Pili 13, Ocampo 9, Carlos 4, Flores 3, Miranda 2, San Juan 2, Nave 2, Barnes 2, Velasco 0, Belgica 0. Quarter scores, 13-8, 26-22, 48-36, 62-59 dot second game dot up 71, Acuity 22, Gomez de Leonogiu. 
17, Manzo 10, Gomez de Liano Ja. 6, Vito 6, Dario 4, Jabonet of 3, Prado 3, Morel 0, Lim 0. Admu 66, Belangel 16, Go 9, Verano 9, White 8, Wong 6, Dawin 6, Credo 5, Burjade 2, Nativated 2, Mamayak 2, Andrade 1, Assistio 0.